to honor and to uh, show reverence at the Dormition of the Theotokos on this the last day until next year. Um, what a blessed opportunity it is for all of us. And I wanted to speak today, of course I spoke about other things at other times on this particular gospel, but just for today I just wanted to think for a moment about this beautiful woman, Maria, the sister of Martha, who just wanted to sit at the feet of Christ. Now, it's hard for us to imagine that because we always sit in chairs. <laughs> but she sat at his feet on the floor. And we don't know what was her relationship to him. Was she kissing his feet? Was she just leaning her head against his leg, perhaps? Or who knows what? But he, you can somehow have the image that maybe like a child does sometimes when they love their parent, how they kind of nestle next to them. And Vlepo Toras Domialomo, Tina Gia Maria Fti, Iadafitis Martas, Que posecatis esta podia tu Christu. San micropedi, po catete esta podia tis miteras. Que angaliazi, i iston patera. Que angaliazi ta podia tu. Iisus que ta filise. Que oti e ipe o Christo, ta cuse que ta. Que ta ipia. And whatever Christ was saying, she was uh, listening to it with so much attention and just drinking it in. Just drinking it in. And Christ knew what was happening there. He, was, he would understood that she was receiving the holy theology. We think of theology, of course, as some sort of dead thing that you read in books. And in fact, when we read works of theology, oftentimes all we can do is, is uh, fall asleep or even become... Uh, Vomitus, I'm sorry to put it that way, because we don't understand any of it and it just sounds like rubbish to us. But we're not talking about that kind of theology. We're talking about the theology of God in her midst, God right before her, God become man, God who loved her, God who cared about her, God who wanted to heal her and her brother and her family and the whole world. And that's the true theology, that she drank that all in. She understood everything how God loved her so much. So when her sister comes and says, come on, tell her to hurry up and get back to work. Come on, I know you understand I need help. But no, Christ doesn't correct Maria, he corrects Martha. <laughs> because Maria, what she's doing at that moment is so holy, it would be a horrible sin at which Christ could not commit to tear her away from that moment. Leo, oti apto poekeni Maria puitan toso agapi meni proston Christo ke pos latre veta logia tu ke ta dipsasse ke ta ipie ke na panesi kariatis na na chari ke na katalavi ti teologia ti spiste osmas ohi teologia po diavazme kamia fora sti sta biblia ke den den andeho mendan ute kata na kata piume ta biblia ta ye ti den den stekonde. Μερικά γράφουν ωραία, μην λες, μην νομίζεις ότι είμαι εναντίον τη θεολογία τη, τη σκολαστική, τελείως. Αλλά πρέπει να βρεις άνθρωπο που, είναι, που πιστεύει αυτό που γράφει, <laughs> που το ζει. Και έτσι, έτσι καταλαβαίνεις μια θεολογία. Και αυτή η ήπια, τη θεολογία του Χριστού, πως εγνώρισε ότι ήταν Θεός μπροστά της. Θεός που έγινε άνθρωπος ή για ποιο λόγο να εκφράσει την αγάπη του Θεού προς άνθρωπος σαν και αυτή. Και αυτή που ήταν κοντά στα πόδια του, τα ήπια, τα ήπια, τα κατάπια, τα κατάλαβε, ψυχικά, σωματικά, πνευματικά, αισθητικά, ό,τι να καταλαβαίνει τα, τα ήπια, τα κατάλαβε. Και όταν ήρθε η άλλη αδεφή και λέει, πες της να με βοηθήσει, ο Χριστός είναι σαν να της
regularly do we take the time to sit at the feet of Christ and just to drink it all in. And if you notice, it's a very good example to us. She doesn't have to say anything. Many times, we human beings, we, we want to be with God, with Christ, and we think that just means to sit down and start talking to him. And we talk and we talk and we talk and we talk and we talk. And maybe, who knows, 50 minutes go by an hour. <laughs> and then we get tired of talking and we say, okay, thank you, Lord, for listening, and we're done. But that's not Maria's expression of faith. Her faith is just to sit and listen and listen and listen and listen and listen for an hour, two hours, however long Christ wanted to speak, just to listen to him. Can you imagine how, how much we miss in our spiritual life when we don't take time to listen to God? We just talk as if we know something. <laughs> what are we going to tell God that he doesn't already know? What was the point of that talking? We say, well, we got it out of my system. I got it. I expressed it. Okay, there's some value in that. I'm not going to say there's no value. But how much more value to just be with Christ and sense his presence and know that he's with you and feel his love for you. And so you say, well, how do I do that, Father Paul? How can I come to know Christ that way? Well, it's hard for us. I'm not going to lie to you as if it's easy. It's not easy because we are so distracted by so many things and we, we almost disbelieve at times that there even was a Christ because we've never seen him and we, we only know, know him in icons and stories and it seems so far away to us. But I think that's one of the reasons why we, we hear that gospel today. Okay, I'm just giving you one reason. So that we could think of this woman as the extension by God's grace, not by her uh, will or power or even her nature, but by God's grace to be the extension of Christ on earth. So we can just come and be with her, like you can be with your own mother, and just sit at her feet. And she doesn't even have to say anything because she doesn't want to say anything. She just points you to Christ. And you sit at her feet. And maybe 